morning YouTube you know who it is so it's a Monday morning after a rainy weekend and uh, we have some vehicles in my lot let's get the zoom off zoom off so I got a message that one of my clients Jeep that I don't see very often for regular maintenance but I do see for heavy repairs and uh, here it is so she said the wheel fell off. We don't usually do their oil changes and tire rotations. And their concern was, <clears throat> excuse me, was one, did someone try and steal their wheel? It's possible, steal their wheels. It's possible, but not likely. Um, what I believe happened is the lug nuts loosened up and he does have wheel spacers on here. So when you have so many different um, material so you have aluminum then the lug nuts are some type of stainless steel or composite material then you have uh, um, studs and then a wheel spacer and then they're bolted to an axle and a rotor that are iron okay you have transitions uh, um, different um, heat dissipations um, of the material so the, the rim and the lug nuts and the studs and the wheel spacers and the axle and the rotor are all expanding at different rates um, is it possible that they were not torqued properly and then it, they came loose? That is the most likely cause. Um, it's very likely. And then we come over to this wheel here and I see a bunch of dirty lug nuts and one that's clean. Um, I'm really not gonna touch it. I would suspect, did someone try and steal one wheel? I doubt it. I'm gonna tell you that one, it wasn't torqued properly Two, that you should have your wheels and tires retorqued regularly, um, especially um, on these type of vehicles that have wheel spacers that we don't know if they're billet or just aluminum. It's all over this wheel. Looks like someone threw an egg. Someone threw an egg at this wheel. There you go, there's an egg on this wheel. I don't, someone egged this wheel. That's weird. So anyway, some cars back in the in the old days over the visor would tell you, have your wheels retorqued X amount of miles. Um, I don't remember what that was. I think it was Ford, to be honest with you. Um, but I want to tell you this. If you have custom wheels, wheel spacers, adapters, and shims, and all that stuff, um, even if you torqued them 100% to the, the specification that it is, it is possible they can over time loosen up. Um, and I'm going to have to dig dig deeper into this. It looks like the wheel is still salvageable. We have one elongated hole and four that are uh, actually still good. So I really need to get a closer look at what happened here. I suspect that someone left the wheel loose. But then I have someone egg the car, egg the wheel. So I'm not really sure if this was vandalism too or someone loosened this wheel up. I, I, I don't really know. But the important part of this is if you have wheels and tires, and every car comes with aluminum wheels today and none of them say have your wheels uh, retorqued that I can think of. Um, but in my opinion, when you have aluminum, cast iron, stainless steel, billet, all that stuff, they're all moving at different rates. Um, and they all have different heat tolerances, so I would say for sure. Um, especially if you're in for regular rotating balances, which most people don't do anymore. Um, that your lug nuts should be torqued properly. And then, uh, and when I commonly see a wheel off, it is typically, typically 99% of the time that something went wrong during the installation of the lug nuts either the uh the air tank on the gun ran low so you so you start start at the left rear your psi is high or your tank is low and it's coming on so you're low 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 and it's lowest and then that wheel's not torqued properly when you think it is i'm just giving you conclusions here or the electric gun didn't work or someone ran out of strength hand torquing them i don't really know but typically when i see these it's usually from another shop um and we see a wheel off or a customer. I've seen customers put um, acorn lug nuts that don't have caps on backwards and drive around and be perfectly fine. 
you explain that to me. Um, or they just wind up here before they actually wind up loosening the wheel up. I'm not really sure, but I've seen lug nuts all put on backwards on certain vehicles, especially with steelies for some reason or other. Um, but yeah, most of the time it is not being torqued right, that's for sure. Or left loose originally. Thanks for watching.